Hey, this is Tom with CPU Points, and today we're going to do something uh, really cool with my computer. It's called Ready Boost, and I'll talk about Ready Boost after we do it. So the first step is I open up the package. I installed this onto my desktop. Here, I'll do it from here. I'll install this guy. I'll install this guy. Yes, it even says open here. I mean, it's really hard to read it, but let's see if we can get it zoomed in. And right there in that corner it says open here. So we're going to attempt to open here instead. If not, I'll take out my trusty pocket knife. the fact it doesn't work that way all right where's my box of goodies at i threw my knife in here last night if all else fails you take a knife and you and you play with it i'm not digging into where the uh i'm not digging in to where the um to where the USB card is. I dig around the exterior where the plastic meets and I dig in to cut into the plastic. Okay, I avoid touching my little USB thumb, my little USB thumb drive. Yes, yeah, it's a tiny one, it's 32 gigabytes. According to the specs, it should it should meet the Ready Boost technology needs for this computer, um, albeit temporarily. I mean, thing cost me seven bucks and to, uh, and to improve upon the read-write capabilities of, of my desktop, um, I'm all for it. I had Ready Boost on this thing when I first bought it, um, and and I do see a remarkable um, uh, decrease in performance since I went to Windows 10 and took it out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make the attempt to put this in. I'm not going to put record a video of me plugging in the USB drive. Um, you know, you know, the chances are you plug your you, you plugged all your other devices in. Fine. Fine. You know what? I have something for you. Okay, the way you plug in USB devices, you look in here, you see that gap on the bottom? Look in here, see that big plastic piece on the bottom, that plastic piece right there that goes into the gap, just like this. See, that's how you plug a USB B device in. And yes, I'm not going to use this extension cable for this. Not happening. All right. I can put that monitor right back on top. Okay. All right, we're back on my screen. We're going to... And I'm going to do this the easy way. I so want to do this the easy Really? Really? Uh, now that I installed the USB drive into my computer, I'm going to click on start. Windows system. Click on file explorer. In this left hand menu over here, I'm going to click on this PC. I will right click on the D drive. In this case, you know, my thumb drive, it, it's, it's, in this case, it's the D drive, but uh, it'll it probably won't be labeled, but you'll know because it's the uh, whatever size your thumb drive is, and it'll be empty. Right click on, right click on the thumb drive, click on properties, click on Ready Boost. 
Now, I have a 32 gigabyte thumb drive in there, and it's only saying I'm able to allocate four gigabytes to the uh, to the to the uh, to the ReadyBoost system. Well, I'm going to allocate more than that, so I click on cancel. I right click on ReadyBoost, or I right click on the thumb drive, and I left click on format, and I change the file to file system from FAT32 to NTFS. Allocation unit size, I default allocation. It's already named unit. It's already named Ready Boost. I click on Start. Okay. All right. Now it's formatted for NTFS. I double click, or well not double click. I'm sorry. I right click on the thumb drive. Go down to Properties. Click on Ready Boost. And this time, it'll show that that the full 32 gigabytes of space can be allocated for the Ready Boost uh, system. So I'm going to tell it to dedicate the device to Ready Boost. I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. And there's the system with ReadyBoost installed. Now my system should theoretically be a little more zippier when I when I attempt to uh, to, to, to do uh, regular tasks. I mean, I'm not expecting, you know, maximum performance increases, but I'm expecting a little bit of an increase. Okay, ReadyBoost is a technology that takes little files that, that, the, that, that Windows uses on a regular basis and stores them onto the thumb drive temporarily. And this will allow the operating system, Windows in this case, to, to be able to pull the files quicker than, than it could off of the mechanical hard drives. This, is, this, is, uh, this feature is also called caching, um, and it's also uh, based on... Uh, Microsoft Superfetch technology. And what's nice is this technology allows for the users to, not the users, this technology allows for, allows for a low cost um, performance boost on, on a computer. The thumb drive costs maybe $10, maybe. I think I paid six for mine. Um, it's 32 gig flash drive and it just plugs right into the USB you know, USB port, my computer, and it just sits there. I mean, it's a real tiny drive, as you saw. You know, as, as far as as far as the size of my hand, I mean, you saw how small that little the little tiny drive is, and that thing is is going to improve my my system. And, and what's nice about ReadyBoost learns from your uses. So based on the number of programs that you use and type of programs that you use, the software inside of Windows is able to make a determination and be make best guesses on what files to uh, to expect that you're going to open and store them on the ReadyBoost so that it goes to the ReadyBoost instead of your hard drives. And that's why it's a much faster and better experience. And that is how ReadyBoost works. Hey, don't forget to click on like and subscribe. Thank you for visiting CPU Points.